is day. 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 You know why I like parks? Uh, to watch the kids and think about the ways they can traffic drugs for you, like a chain of drug smuggling little small people. What the f, Frank? Already? Already with your bullshit? No, that's not why I like parks. You know what? F it. You ruined the moment. Dave. Aren't you a bit old to have moments about parks and kids? F*** you, Frank. Uh, I'm just saying. Old guy, park, kids, uh, drugs. You might want to slow your roll there, Pops. Where the hell do you come up with this stuff? I mean, seriously. Lord Cromdor. Lord Cromdor. Lord Cromdor. Lord Cromdor. Lord Cromdor. Lord Cromdor. Lord Cromdor, of course. Bang, 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 bang. Fucking ass, I swear. Hey, 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 Dave. What, Frank? What? You know, Lord Cromdor is always looking for more disciples if uh, you're ever interested in reading the word of Lord Cromdor, the Corinthian. What? First, who, who the hell is Lord Cromdor? You have been talking about him for like months. Who is he? He's my lord, Dave. Lord Cromdor. He saves all before Judgment Day. All who believe and worship his name. The f Sorry, uh, forget I ever even said anything about it. Frank, you, you need some guidance or, or something. The hell, man? Yeah, uh, whatever. You hear about, uh, Officer Ash McGee lately? Let me guess. Officer Smitty? Is that who you're referring to? Hey! Don't you bring up his name! Don't you bring his name up to me! I'll fucking kill you, damn it! It's Cromdor, man. Lord Cromdor, I swear. But, uh, yeah, him. No. No, I haven't heard about him lately. Last I heard, he was arrested... Some old lady selling DVDs that was honoring her son that passed away from from a, a gang of cops. COD did the right thing for sure. Yeah, thank the almighty cod that we live here in Bloomsburg. I hear there's savages over there, man. F***ing savages. Praise the almighty cod for we aren't savage beings. Could you spare a few steps? Back! Back, you filthy animal! Ladies, back away! But, 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 Dave! Don't Dave me! I'm not giving my money to a strangler, bunch of low degenerates. That can't keep their finances in order. I mean, come on, it's not that hard. If this was planet Earth, they would do the same thing. What'd you expect, Dave? They're all mammals, it's in their DNA. It's, it's like, it's like, that's all they know. Yeah, I know. Savages. But enough about them. Ask McGee been running around town arresting people like hotcakes. Whoa, really? Man, that's, wait, 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 what's hotcakes? You know, flapjacks, griddles, McGriddles, cakes, crepes. Pan fried cakes? You never had breakfast before? What? Pafukin. Oh. <laughs> Why did you just say that? <laughs> I guess I must have been watching too much rumors of Germany lately. That's my shit. <laughs> I love that show, man. But yeah, he's just been running around arresting people with his out. For 
what exactly? I mean, they must be... They must have done something wrong. For crack, Dave! F***ing crack! Frank, that's a big deal. I mean, that's a real f***ing big deal. No, Dave. The other crack. It's not what you think. The other crack? You mean cocaine? No, Dave! Heroin? God damn it! Dave, no! Smack? Scooby Snacks? Study Buddies? Meow Meow? No, Dave! It's... Hey, what's going on here? It's Ash McGee! Uh, I'll see you later, Frank! Hold your motherfucking ass right there, Frank. I got a 412 on my hands right now. I repeat, a 412. I was trying to tell you that it's people having their ass cracks out. He's arresting people for Get the f*** out of here, really? Hey, 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 hey. You two keep it down over there. Yeah, he's arresting people and sending them to the C-A-R-E care program. Care program? What, what the f*** is that? You know, care, crackhead abuse resistance education. A program where they attend dumb meetings and other problems with having their asses cracked out, blah, blah, blah. That's horse You know that, Frank. Hey, I'm only telling you what he's been doing around town. That's a, that's a Roger on that, Smitty. Be vigilant and alert. Chief out. Whoa, whoa there, Dave. Apparently, you have a small crack going on there, Dave. Actually, this is this new pair of underwear that... I don't want to hear it. Save it, dirtbag. You're coming with me. The hell I am. My crack's not even out. I seen a crack, Dave. I see them all the time. I know a crack when I see one. I'm going to need you to put your hands behind your crack. I'm out of here. Dave, as your friend and cop that's going to arrest you, I'm going to need you to put your hands behind your back or I will be forced to shoot you, even with your back turned. Friend? What f***ing friend shoots their friend in the back? All because one of them is a cop. Uh, everyone, duh. This is a 2017 standard issue. Now, I'm not going to ask you again, friend. Put your hands behind your back. Four hours later. Man, talk about backstabbing friends. <laughs> right? <laughs> Slim brutality right there. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> Four hours later. Yeah, I want to turn in another one today. Seems this one's excuse was that his so-called crack was actually his underwear. <laughs> so, did you check to see if it was just his underwear instead of his crack showing, officer? Sir, with all due respect, I'm not inclined to checking older men's prostate areas for evidence of crackage, sir. Well, I mean, if you're going to arrest people for this new program, I think it's kind of mandatory that you check. Okay? I think so. Sir, nowhere does it say I'm to go into another person's underwear for a crack. But only, and only if there's a crack present why I make the arrest. In which, in this case, there was. Hey, Donna. <laughs> yes, Chief. Is it true that that Officer Smitty isn't obligated to check people's underwear? Yes, it's true. Donna, how? Pat said... Where the hell was Pat when he hurt? I just... He could hear you from down the hall. What kind of... Hey, Chief. Pat said, hey. Donna, I heard him. That will be all. Well, Officer Smitty... Sir! Take Mr. Majerski to holding until the next meeting. That would not be a problem, sir. Yeah, yeah. Dave, let's go. You're coming with me. 
Like as if I got a choice. One hour later, I'm glad I don't wear my pants down so my crack don't show or else I'll be going down the plumber. <laughs> Get it guys? <laughs> plumber? Cause my crack and the slammer? <laughs> oh, you guys are no fun. Like a bunch of vultures of no fun. <laughs> One hour later. Man, what a day. It's, it's four o'clock on a Tuesday. What you in here for, sonny? All right, Dave, let's go. Time for your care meeting. Hmm. Damn. Haven't seen a good ass crack since watching celebrity cracks from Earth. Damn, those were some, some quality cracks. Want to see my crack? I got a good one. Looks like another dry choke session. Hurry, hurry, before the guards come. One hour later. Hey guys, what's a dry choke session? Oh, oh, okay, okay. Like choking, choking a chicken without even, what, any lotion? Oh, okay, I gotcha. Never go to jail. Noted. One hour later. Okay, everyone. This meeting is underway. You gotta be kidding me. You're the instructor? Look, alright? I'm trying to help you. I'm your friend. If it wasn't for me, you would be a victim. Yeah, 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 true. yeah, yeah, A victim? Only victim I see is from you. He doesn't know. Mm -mm. No, he doesn't know. Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 as you all know, and for the ones that are here for the very first time, Dave. Oh, thanks, ass. The CARE program is the exact same program like the D.A.R.E. program from the TV show Rumors of Planet Earth. So, exactly what would D.A.R.E. stand for exactly, so I can connect the two? I'm glad you asked. Drug Abuse Resistance Education. Drug abuse? You gotta be f***ing kidding me. You think this is an addiction or, or of some sort? Hey, it's okay. We're all addicts in some sort of way. This is bullsh**. It's okay. When I first found out my crack addiction, I was in the kitchen. I was in the kitchen cooking, and I turned around, and my mom came in and seen the action. And I called Officer Smitty with no hesitation. Mm -mm. How old are you? 52. Holy sh**. We're the same age, and you're still living with your mom? Are you sick or something? I have a f***ing addiction. Hey, it's okay. Relax. I'm here. I'm here for all of you. Hey yo, man, you got hear mine. Yo, it's crazy, man. Hey yo, hey, yo, once, once I was in my living room, man. I was in the living room, and all I remember, man, my brother he was picking me up off the ground. He was telling me, yo, hey yo, bro, your crack is all over the table. And then that's when Officer Smitty came in and he took me in, saved my life, man. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, Am I really here? Is this really happening? This is what I get for wearing underwear that has a plumber's crack on it. Dave, buddy, listen, it's okay. We all have problems that we're afraid to admit sometimes. As a matter of fact, I too had a crack problem when I was younger. It all started with just a small, harmless little whiff. 
from that point on, I was hooked until the 10th grade. <clears throat> Are you sure that's the same crack we're in here for? Because that sounds like a drug problem to me, officer. It was a problem, Dave. I was addicted to sniffing ass cracks. Oh, sh I'll admit it. it. Wasn't my best years growing up, but guess what, damn it. I learned a lot. A lot about myself. What? That you were a great ass sniffer? That, plus, I could seek it out like a hound dog. I was an animal. I was a beast. <clears throat> oh, sh Spoke too soon. That's why I'm so damn good at finding people with their ass cracks out. I'm a born natural ass sniffer. In your case, that's a good thing. You're lucky. No. No, it's not. It's the weirdest thing ever. That's not normal, officer. What's weird to you might be normal to me. Have you ever thought about that, Dave? No. I bet you haven't, damn it. What about the kids, Smitty? Listen to the kids. No, correction. That's officer to you, Dave. You can't go around sniffing other kids' asses. That, that's just wrong. I could do whatever I have to do to save their asses from being a victim from predators. Only predator? Only predator would be you. That leads to being a pedophile, officer. Whoa. <laughs> Those are strong words there, Dave. Nobody's talking about doing that. What? Could have fooled me. Now let's get back to why we're all here. So we can address our problem in society today. Only problem I see is that we're all here for a dumb crack problem in which I clearly don't have. I'll tell you, Dave. I'm trying to protect you and everyone from... From what? He doesn't. Mm -mm. Would you all stop that? The rape monster. Get the f*** out of here. There have been about 60% of people raped, okay? With their cracks up by the rape monster right here in Bloomsburg. This program helps people rethink about ever having their cracks out in public again. That's true. Jimmy don't have his problem anymore after a few meetings with us. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're always here on the pursuit to bring in more crack dealers on the streets back in the meets to abolish them from their problem once and for all. Let me guess, you're trying to stop easy openings from being raped. <laughs> what a joke. This is serious, Dave. Easy openings is no laughing matter. My cousin Ray Ray had his crack open for a second. And that easy opening, just that easy opening, sent him to the crazy place after being raped by the rape monster. Now all he talks about is how the rape monster took his life away. Easy openings is serious, Dave. It really is. Yeah, This whole meeting should be in a in a crazy place. There's no such thing as rape monster. I, I don't believe it, but I don't. Seeing is believing, and I don't see no hard facts. I don't. You want to see? Do you really want to see, Dave? No, don't do it. Just, just don't do it. Don't do it, officer. No. Here's your rape monster. Oh my god. Oh my god. No! Oh god. Oh god, man. I think I'm gonna barf, man. Oh god, I'm gonna be sick. Okay, class. Everybody calm down. Everybody just take a deep breath and relax, okay? Yeah. Like I'm gonna see that roaming around the streets. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's crafty, Dave. He's like a fucking a fucking chameleon. He'll sniff your crack out like Timmy Montana. Whoop-de-doo. Now, class. What is the safety procedure if you fill your crack out? Stop, drop, and cover up your hole. Stop, drop, and cover up your hole, for God's sake. For God's sake. That's right. That's the ticket, gang. Well, that wraps up today's meeting. You are all free to go. Stay safe and keep your buttholes tight. Wait, that's it? Really? Yep, that's it. You arrest me, take me to holding, then to this f***ing... 
ridiculous meeting and release us all because a harmless ass crack. It's not so harmless when you become a victim, Dave. All right. You better watch your ass out there because I won't always be there to save it. Trust me. I think I prefer you to stay as far away from my ass for once, for one day. I warn you, Dave. He's out there, he's lurking, and he's ready. Waste of time. Great monster. <laughs> Crazy man. Oh, in Bloomsburg. Thirty minutes later. Thirty minutes later. Yeah, I'm still coming. I just had this dumb meeting about having our, our cracks out and whatnot. Yeah, this was ridiculous. It's no big deal, but um, hey, check this out, right? You know, like, this is crazy. He said this, he said there's this rape monster that's going around raping people because of a sniff of the crack or something. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's, it's ridiculous, I know. I'm, I'm on my way right now. Dave, would you shut the hell up? You can't rap. Oh. <sighs>